Do you want to know how we at Microsoft use Copilot every day to be more productive? I'm the Productivity Coach and today I show you how. Hi, I'm Stuart at the Productivity Coach and I work at Microsoft as part of our modern work and AI team. And today I want to talk to you about Copilot, our brand new exciting product which has become generally available today, the 1st of November. Now, obviously AI is everywhere uh, and Copilot is our innovative AI tool which allows us to kind of really help you be more productive every day across Microsoft 365 in everything that you do. Now, there is so much to do. We'll have to split it over multiple videos. Uh, so today I'm going to be talking about Microsoft Teams and specifically that thing that we really all hate to do, which is take meeting notes, take action items and kind of work out what was said in the meeting. Now, one of the things about meetings is quite often when you're the organizer, you tend to be one of the main presenters as well. Um, and it's really hard to take all of those notes, juggle the actions, see what the conversation was, and kind of understand the nuances of the meeting when you're trying to present as well. And for me, I, I, you know, I really struggle with that. And this is where Copilot really helps me to be much more productive because I can focus on being in the meeting, uh, presenting and being uh, with all of my colleagues. And then afterwards I can go back uh, and have a look and query Copilot and look at all of those things that happen in the meeting and find that. And it helps me to produce my summaries um, and to be able to track those actions. So let's have a look at that. So I'll go here. So this is a fictional meeting about um, Project Falcon, um, about a product launch and the decision to delay that. So here I am in Microsoft Teams. I'm in Teams Premium here, so I can see who the people were who were in the meeting um, and who spoke and breaks down into topics and chapters um, and things like this. So if you so you might already be familiar with this bit. We've got some AI generated notes. We've got where I was mentioned, and obviously we've got the transcript there. But it's really hard to read through that transcript and find all of that. So luckily, this is where Copilot comes in. So I'm going to click on the Copilot button here, and it will just take a few seconds to spin up. And I can ask Copilot the questions about the meeting that I want answered in natural language. So if I said create a table of participants and their roles, it's there. Or summarize the objective of this meeting in one sentence. Again here, it says it was to discuss the launch timing, who the exec speaker was going to be for Project Falcon, which is a new product that the team's been working on. So let's ask a few more questions that I can use as part of my wrap up. So what decisions were made? Okay, and that will just take a few seconds. It uses the transcript to go and uh, pull out all of those decisions um, and then it will create that in a post. Now, this is real time. There's no editing here to make things shorter or cut anything out there. So you can see that it takes a few seconds to do that. Um, so if we ask a different question, for instance, uh, was it an easy decision? Because here we talk about delaying it. You know, was anyone upset by that? And it will go through and again, it will look and see what people said to be able to answer that question. Now, one of the things I love is that here in my answer, it's got these, these reference numbers. And when you hover over it, it shows you what the transcript was. So if we said, was it an easy decision? It will say that it wasn't an easy decision. Eric and Stuart initially disagreed. And if I hover over here, I can see that Eric said, are you kidding me right now? So it really is picked up that he wasn't happy about that. But by the end, no one was upset. We focused on the action items and we moved on. So really, really, um, really, really great way to see that. So, but if I wanted to delve deeper in that and kind of say, well, what were the pros and cons uh, of delaying for this product launch here? So if I said, list the pros and cons of the decision to delay in a table, then it will go through and it will create that table for me, showing the pros and cons and the references back to where that was discussed. And then I can use that, um, you know, if I need to produce a report or something like this. So here it's showing me the pros, what was discussed, who said what, what were the cons. And if I wanted to tweak this, then I could just ask another question. But here I could just copy that and then go and stick it in an email or my other Word document or whatever. Um, so if we switch and turn our attention a little bit around the discussion around the execs. So if I said, which executive should we use uh, for the launch event? Okay, it will go through and look at the conversations that were had around the execs and what their 
uh, what their current commitments are and it'll summarize that for me. So we were looking at two different ones. So we were looking at Paul, the CMO or Amy. So it's saying here that the uh, exec speaker should be Paul because Amy might not be available um, to attend the event. And then it talks about how it got to that decision. Um, so you can see here, and again, those little numbers, you can hover over and see what happens. So remember, this is a co-pilot, not an autopilot. So you need to check this. And then if I ask a question to say, what day should the rehearsal and the launch event be? Then it will use that information that it's already got, as well as the information that is in that transcript um, to do that. Now, all of the information is just coming from this meeting. It's not looking anywhere else. It's not looking at diaries here. It's just looking at that. And you can see here, you can see from the conversations and again, the reference point. So it's saying that piece of information has come from the meeting notes uh, or from the meeting transcript said by this person at this time. So let's change again and say, you know, who, was, who were the decision makers here? List the attendees in order of the percentage of words spoken. Now, this is a really interesting prompt here because this will tell you whether certain people dominated the conversation. Now, it might be that some people were just there to participate, uh, to, um, to spectate or didn't really have a lot. They only had a small amount to say. So um, this allows you to look at that and make that decision. So we can see here that in this meeting, I spoke for 25 percent, then Eric, then Barath and then Andrea. But you can see here that Sylvia and Marco both had around 11 percent. So depending on your context, like where, how much you know that they should um, should contribute, you could perhaps go back and have a conversation with them and say, oh, I noticed you didn't say a lot in the meeting. Can I, can I just validate that you're happy with that? And then when I'm producing my summary, I can just say summarize this meeting and it will go through and it will uh, summarize everything that's been spoken about there. Um, and I can just then copy and paste that and lift, list that just to uh, send to the attendees. So I can do that. And again, because we're really action focused here, if I said list actions and owners in a table and hit that there, then it will produce that for me. And if we just give it a moment, again, this is all real time. So we've not edited anything here. So here's my table. I can see what the action was, who the owner is, and then that reference to that. And I could just hit that copy button um, and then it would make it really, really easy for me to be able to send that out as a follow up to everyone who attended the meeting. So this is really how I use uh, Copilot as part of my meeting workflow. Um, I'd really love to know more about how you use it. So if you're a Copilot user already, then uh, please pop some stuff in the comments there about the prompts that you use within your meeting. And this is obviously only as part of the post meeting workflow. And um, there's a whole load of ways that Copilot can be used within the meeting itself. And we'll show that on a, another video. But you could, you know, if you're late turning up to a meeting, you can find out what's already been discussed and, and things like this. But as I say, I'll show that another time. There are loads more uh, applications and ways that Copilots can be used uh, to revolutionize your work. So I shall see you again on another video.